Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ned Bellavance, Ned1313 on Twitter, and welcome to the Daily Check-In for September 30th, 2020. Hey, it's the end of September, so happy end of September. Welcome to Marchtober. Yeah, that's right. You thought March ended, but nope, it's just still going, people. Still going strong. So um, today's topic is going to be all about this new thing that was announced at VMworld. It's Project Monterey, which sounds really interesting, and I want to dive into the details because it is Tech Analysis Wednesday. Before I do that, I don't really have any housekeeping things I want to talk about. I do just want to say that um, I will be doing a more in-depth analysis of what transpired at VMworld with my co-host of the Day 2 Cloud podcast. That's going to be coming up in about two weeks, so that will be a separate episode, and I'm going to be talking about more than just what happened with this new Project Monterey, but I thought this one was particularly salient for this specific uh, episode because it was just announced and it connected a lot of dots for me. A lot of things that I was kind of like, why are these companies doing these things? And then suddenly it was, oh, oh, I get it now. I get why you're doing this thing. It's because it all ties together with this, not a grand design, but I see the direction things are heading. Uh, shout out to Disco Posse, aka Eric Wright, for helping me uh sort of shepherd me down that shepherding me down this path all right before we talk about the topic first i want to check in with you how you doing happy wednesday it's 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 the middle of the week which is sometimes difficult but i think this week is actually going pretty well for me and i hope that it's going well for you today my kids finally went back to school full-time in person They've got everything, all the protections in place, all the stuff they needed to do. That's exciting to me uh, because I feel like they need it. And it also means that I'm not paying for them to go to daycare anymore, which was, uh, to be frank, kind of expensive. So that's what's going on with me. Hopefully things are going okay with you. Let's talk about this Project Monterey. And what is it? What's, what's this thing that <laughs> has been created by VMware? So I want to give a little bit of background that will hopefully put this whole thing in context. The first thing is that virtualization generally runs on general purpose CPUs. General purpose CPUs like Intel inside the Intel Xeon or whatever you have in your desktop today, those are good at doing general tasks, but they're not great at doing specific tasks. And that's fine because we have created additional chips that are customized to execute certain tasks. So if you think about the other chips that you might have in a typical desktop, you might have a chip that's dedicated to sound. You might even have a sound card if you're one of those people, which I am, so I have a sound card in my rig. You might also have a graphics card, and that graphics card has GPUs in it, and those are graphics processing units, and those are specialized to be really good at graphics. Another card that you might have is your network interface card, and that is a card that is dedicated with chips that are dedicated to doing network communication. So you might have a lot of specialized chips and then your general purpose CPU that just has a general purpose instruction set. Now, what's the point behind all of this? Well, the point is when you have specialized activities, it makes sense sometimes to have a specialized chip to do them. And to that effect, we've included things like TPUs for tensor processing units, and another type of chip that people are starting to call a DPU, which is a data processing unit, which I don't love the name of, <clears throat> but I get the idea. The idea is to handle data munging and data storage, especially for machine learning, AI, and data science kind of things. It might make sense to have a dedicated chipset just for that. Okay, so how does this all sort of flow into what Project Monterey is doing? Well, right now, if you install ESXi on a server, ESXi is going to use the CPU to run. But ESXi is sort of a specialized process, right? It's a hypervisor. What if instead of it using the general purpose CPU to run its bits, it instead ran on a specialized chip that was dedicated to doing some sort of virtualization stuff. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. In fact, that's something 
that AWS has already done. They have this thing called Project Nitro, or maybe it's not Project, maybe it's just called AWS Nitro. The idea for Nitro was simply, let's take the hypervisor and we'll move it somewhere else. Now, where could they put it? Where, where makes sense? Well, for them, the place that made the most sense was to put it on the NIC because network interface cards have been getting bigger and more robust and capable of doing more offloading. They can do things like SSL offload. They can do iSCSI communication. They can offload some of the TCP stack. They can do stuff around fiber channel over ethernet. Like your NIC is almost like a whole other computer in these advanced servers on top of the existing motherboard. It has its own dedicated memory and CPU and chipsets and all that. That's kind of a big thing. And AWS built their own card and made that card run their hypervisor. So my understanding of that is when one of their bare metal servers boots up, the SmartNIC boots up, does a Pixie boot to load its operating system onto the SmartNIC, and that's the hypervisor, the Nitro hypervisor. And then that hypervisor checks the status of everything else on that server to make sure it's all trusted hardware that hasn't been tampered, checks the firmware and the software to make sure that hasn't been tampered, makes it very, very secure, and only then does it load the rest of the bits and start running EC2 instances on that hardware. Project Monterey is a similar idea. The idea is to take ESXi and have it run on one of these smart NICs as opposed to having it run on the CPU. And what are some other things that you run when you're using VMware? Well, you run NSX. What if all the NSX functionality now runs on the network card instead of relying on the CPU at all for processing? That makes sense, especially since NSX is networking. And what if your vSAN replication all relied on the SmartNIC and some special chipsets on that SmartNIC as opposed to going through the regular CPU? That also makes sense. So now all of the functionality and features that you would normally be relying on a CPU to a general purpose CPU to do, now that all gets pushed onto a SmartNIC that has dedicated chips on that SmartNIC to handle those different pieces of functionality. Now, obviously, in order to do that, they have to make some changes to ESXi and the way that that works as well as NSX and vSAN. And those changes are what are in Project Monterey now. Now, there's a VMware is trying to build private clouds in the same way that the public cloud vendors have been doing which means doing stuff like what Nitro is to AWS, what Project Monterey is. So their target audience for this initial project and the way that this offering is gonna go, it's only gonna be for vCloud, uh, VMware Cloud Foundation customers. So these are customers that are running a private cloud. This is not, I've got a vSphere host that's managing like five VMs. It's, it's definitely not for that. But I, I can see who they're targeting and I see why they're targeting that. And my OneDrive is suddenly taking up all my CPU because, of course, you're a OneDrive. All right, killed that. So that's who they're targeting this at, is people who are trying to build a private cloud. Okay. And the one other thing I want to add on this is they made an illusion that it will be able to run on ARM CPUs, which is one of the potential, or ARM chips, I should say, which is one of the potential chips that might be put on one of these smart NICs to run your ESXi. So it kind of puts all of these different disparate components together for me and creates this hole where I, I'm like, I see where VMware is going and what they want to do with this project and what they want to do with ESXi. And that's all coming down the pike. So for me, that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited for this project. I can't wait to test drive it and see how it goes. Uh, I know that for partners, they're talking about Pensando, which is a, an HPE funded startup that's specializing around data center communications. And they're also uh, partnering with NVIDIA, who is trying to buy ARM right now. So that's an interesting uh, sort of arrangement going on there. But those are their two big partners. The downside is, unless you have one of these smart NICs in your big honking server, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of that. So right now, those are pretty pricey in terms of smart NICs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They'll cost you an arm and a leg, but those prices will come down as this becomes more common and hopefully they support 
more than just the initial partners once the project gets into full bore mode. So those are my thoughts on Project Monterey. It sounds pretty interesting. I'm excited to give it a test drive, though I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to do that, but I'm getting me out to buy some custom gear just to do that. Uh, but that's all I have for today. Tomorrow is Thursday, and I've got an interesting one for you. I actually pre-recorded me setting up one of my new home lab servers putting all the hardware in. And so that's what I'm going to be showing tomorrow. So if that's of interest to you, check it out. It's all part of my new home lab series. Uh, but that's all I have for today. So until tomorrow, stay healthy, stay safe, everybody. Thank you.